guys welcome back to another m creator lore video so today what we're going to be working on is adding a couple new biomes uh now that we have a couple trees i wanted to add a couple forests and woods kind of uh biomes for these trees and then we'll kind of mix them in with the dimension that we have set already now this isn't going to be like a one thing that's done in like a matter of a day uh we still have Tons of stuff that we need to add to the biome itself uh, to make it a kind of like a useful biome, not just something that is generated with some wood. Um, I want it to be able to put some plants and unique features in that particular bot, these two particular biomes as well. So, but the foundation is to get the um, biomes created today, get the um, generation stable for the most part uh there will be tweaking later on when we add more biomes obviously but we need to find a right balance for it at the moment and then most of all uh what we're going to need to do is basically set the structures uh unique structures to generate in the um biome itself so those are the things that we're going to actually do uh, one other thing that we need to do is actually make sure that we have grass that generates. Now, we don't actually have a thing that is more designed for light grass. So what I'm going to do is actually create a bunch of uh, lower quality, uh, like low density um, grass that we can put in other biomes rather than plains because plains generally has a lot of grass. But at the moment, what I'm working on is just basically setting up the biome properties. Um, this took me a little bit while to do. The whole project of for today took about half an hour to actually put together, uh, which is pretty good compared to um, the amount of time that I usually put into a video. But given that a lot of the assets and um, structures were already created, it didn't take too long uh, to put together with M Crater. So right at the moment, I'm just kind of trying to fiddle around with the uh, right amount of properties, trying to make it so it's sort of balanced, unique to where it's not going to interfere with the plains biome too much, but also where um, it will be a little bit more inland. So the, the, the idea is to have more forest inland, and then we'll kind of blend certain thing aspects together with uh, those other properties. But I don't want it too far inland where it won't be like noticeable. Like, I kind of want the planes uh, because planes are generally more flat. But in order to make the um, the the trees spawn, we're going to actually need a very uh, flat area for some of these biomes. So what is going to have to happen is it's going to be a less mountainy range outside of that area so this trees will kind of fit into the terrain itself when we start adding more biomes and stuff like that like mountains and stuff like that then those other parts that won't really fit into those categories will obviously be able to be assigned to those particular areas so basically what this part is doing is I'm basically just setting the biomes uh, for the generation for I believe the structures at the moment um, this took me a little while I actually had to go back into the program and play around with settings because the trees weren't generating as frequently as I wanted to and this was probably down to a couple factors one uh, there is not that many trees uh, that will generate with this script to begin with uh, because it's basically limiting what is um, going to be on the ground so uh, with my script that it creates the um, like tells it where to generate uh, basically allows it to generate the generation condition it is very limited to like if the tree is floating or whatever it won't actually generate if it's a potential float floating tree so what it does instead is tries to find a flat area where it will place the tree rather than you know let it let minecraft to kind of handle the generation now this has a few pros and cons to it uh, the one of the pros is it has more realistic tree generation for elevation and um, like if there's a cliffside 
and there's a steep cliff there it can't place the tree on then it's not going to put the tree there but the other side is uh it does make trees more rare so um there is kind of a balancing act that you have to kind of figure out where to make it work uh in the end it turned out pretty good though um, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just basically updating some of these properties for uh, the two biomes. Now these two new biomes that I'm adding, one is going to be um, like a forest biome and then the other is going to be a, a woods biome. Now the woods uh, for the uh, particular tree that we created um, will be more of a dense kind of forest with larger trees mixed in with it where the forest is going to be more of a smaller woods, less dense, and uh, only small trees. So it'll be kind of like an undeveloped forest for that matter. Now the lower one will be actually closer to the um, sea than the deeper one. It just makes sense that way, really. Um, obviously, there will be like, you know, different lakes and stuff built into the map, and it'll find its medium for all this stuff but uh, one of the things that we'll need to kind of figure out is uh, what we're going to be adding in these particular biomes if you have any suggestions on that particularly uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll see if we can't uh, implement those in the next few updates all right so going into game I am basically just flying around at this point and just kind of getting an idea I did make those changes I needed to make the trees generate more often and I had to tweak the grass a little bit but um, this is basically this is a great example of the uh, thing that I was talking about the hillside where if it's too steep the trees won't generate and this can be actually very beneficial for a lot of things uh, for like train and stuff like that so um, as you can kind of see this is more dense down here and that's it has a lot larger trees built into it so this is kind of this would be the woods of the biomes that I was working on. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of floating, but they're they're all on the ground still. So uh, I could make the area for the test area a lot bigger for what makes the tree actually spawn. Most likely it's not centered exactly uh, to the tree trunk, but um, overall this is basically what it's generating a little bit more inland and you can kind of see that there's a stream or a lake that goes through here and then we got some plains biomes uh, there's some different mountain shapes and stuff built in and it goes kind of surrounds by surrounded by wood like woodlands uh, which is really a nice touch to it and there's I guess this is a, like a flower biome and then it goes into um, some other types of biomes like the um, the bush biomes and stuff like that now one of the different other things that i want to add is like you know maybe berry bushes but also have uh some unique flowers uh when we get to crops uh probably the next episode what we're going to work on is maybe designing a crop type i'm not sure if that's what to really add we'll probably try adding rice or corn i have um Procedures that I can set up uh, for my custom crops uh, tutorials, so I'll be able to put that together easily and just design some textures and stuff like that. But um, we'll need to design maybe like a wild crop or something like that in the end. But uh, overall, this really feels like a nice generation for the settings and stuff like that. I'm pretty impressed with how flat this area is and how dense the trees actually did generate. Um, this is good when it comes down to actually um, generating trees because you want generally a more flat area for them to generate on with the script. So knowing your biomes and your biome settings is really important when using it. But anyhow, um, that's basically all the time that I have for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.